Hello, welcome to Akide, where we train civil future and structural engineers. My name is Fashe Ochet. Today, we want to look at quota setting part two. It's very important because this week is our work when it comes to detailing of our work for printing. There are some things that if you don't do here, you find it is going to take your time during your work, during your printing or editing of your work in AutoCAD and therefore or Stonebridge. And therefore, to avoid wasting of time, there are some settings we need to do here right from here in quota structure in order to ease our work so if you are able to do it you discover that to do your you know detailing quota detailing you know remember what it will not be difficult for you to print so therefore let's go there like this building project you are seeing is still under modeling but i just want to use it to quickly do this uh, video because there are a lot of people who have been asking questions on how they can set their beams so therefore let's go there and see how this can be done as i said this structure is still under modeling so therefore let's go there and see how we can model sorry how we can set our beams all right welcome back so let me first of all walk you through to see how the beam is so therefore let's me first of all click on you no know, it was here so let me click on a design then come to uh story beams and look at here so let me just use this one as an example let's see how it is then come to interactive design interactive design okay so you can see it here so direct design so let's now look at the detail of this beam how this beam is being detailed so let's watch and see so you can now see it now so you can see you can see you can, like this dimension now if you go to if you uh, export this put that detail like this export it to autocad you discover that you can, if you have like 20 beams for you to start deleting and removing this one it's going to give you a, a head it's going to give you what headache and at the same time if you look at this one here since this one has already given us dimension from the center of this place to this place so i don't see the need of this one so when you get to site you know how to go about it so that is that and also if you look at this this is quite much you can see the number how many uh, sections do we have here this one two three four five six and seven but if you look at what we are having here it's like how many one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten you see it's too much it's too much so you need to do all these settings they are very very important and not only that if you look at this this section the way this one is this way this one is it's not too good as a structural engineer it's not too good so how do we do it there's what we call eye structure so that's what you're going to be using to for you know for your work to what to come out fine so this is it so let's now go and see how this can be what can be done so let me close this let me close this and also let me if i like i can start from okay let me close this let me close this good so if i like i can come here and go to my setting and do it or i go to my building model sorry let me cancel this so building model come on come up just click here and then come to what to settings and wait for you so now you can see this place let me go back let me go back where's my where's my beam okay so look at my beam here so when you go back when you come this is how you will see it on that beam this is how you will see it so when you see it this way what you need to do is go to what to click here once you click here the first thing let's go for, look for our parameters other parameters will come to this place in terms of your uh, what you call it links now when you are after modeling and inter 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 interactive with your design and you now discover that your link is failing you can come here and reduce it so you can see minimum link spacing and maximum link spacing so if i like i can link this one to what 200 so you can see let's assume i'm using 200 now for my um, link not to not to fail now 200 if you like 175 175 so you can see so let me take it back to 300 this way you can edit your link in case it's failing apart from increasing your diameter maybe you are using y8 or y10 i don't advise people to use y8 for their links so that is that under parameters so now when you finish from parameter you go come to where you call cuttings under here you click on what the steel bar so now looking at this place looking at this place that's what we need to do here now if you look at this this bar this bar here this reinforcement here and this one they might be the same thing this bar here the same thing maybe it's white where well, three y16 and this one three y16 and this one is three y16 but you can see it's been split instead of you to be what to be one bar and now indicate what three y16 so how do you do that likewise the top how do you do that you come to this place merge similar bottom span bar so you do it click so you can see let me open it this begin you can see here so put your eyes here put your eyes here as i click on this one click so you can see so likewise which means here the bar here maybe this one is 2y16 and this one is 3y16 so now what about the top the same thing similar so you can see 
So that's how to do the setting on this uh, on this aspect under cutting. Then the next one you need to do is go to uh, beam. No, sorry, section. Now, if you look at this, why we are having that number of section is because of this place. Why we have that number of section is because of this place. Now, what do we do is to do what? Click on all. Let's come and click on what? Span, which means that it's only each uh, between uh, columns. Beams from here to here. We have one from here to here. We have one like that. One we are having seven. That means we are going to have only seven out of almost like 28, 30 of this section that we are having. So, this is how you do your setting on this uh, aspect. So, having done this, uh, this one, the next one, I think you also need to do is to come to your dimension under this dimension this way you now do other works like your dimension that one i was showing you by the side on how to delete those ones in when you go to total detail or you export it to autocad so now this way you remove it remove this uh, on ticket don't tick it or if it's ticked on ticket then the next thing is about this dimension about this dimension here what do you do you come to this place you come to this place click so you can see it has gone it has gone so not only that there's something we need to do under this i'm coming yes here here again now i was showing you this that time that it's not too good it's not too good you have to use iso iso structure so now look at it here as i click you can see it has changed this is the best way of what of detailing your section in terms of what of your beam so you can see it here so you can see it here so that is that any other one you have done here we have removed it. this bulb we have removed okay this one also we have removed it so it's the only single one and then here do we need anything here there's nothing we need to leave this place as it is and this one we have done here under silver and links we have done this one to, to turn you to what to to uncheck this uh this one to do like it's going to be in this format that is better you use this like this so now under section then we have ta taught you how to use this place and also this one the rest okay general okay it's is okay this one is also okay okay yes this one is okay you can leave this one like this and also this one yes in this place we have done it merge similar bars i think that is all for this place again where do we need to do in here on this one maybe bar at the support outside the support and all of that that's where you do it if you want your bar to be joined at the support you can see click here you can see inside the support inside the what support so if you, outside the support look at it so this way you do all those uh, settings and what other thing again on the parameter i think we have done that one for the link and the rest now if you want to use your for my beam in the course of my uh, analysis and design and i choose my, what is the minimum and what is the maximum this way i also choose those ones under design and this one's general i think that is also therefore let's now go back and see what we have just done i will now click on what on okay so once i've clicked on okay i will now go back sorry i'll go back to my design go back to my design and click on sorry where's my design yes my design click on story beam and let's see this one sample and let's see our interactive design under our interactive design let's now see what we are having click on this detailed drawing how it's going to come out let's now see now as you can see you can see now you see all those things you can see they are gone they are gone you can see this one too where we need it you can see how neat this one is you can see compared to the other one so you can see you can see it you can see 2y16 3y16 you only have it you see from here to this place instead of having this type of detailing from here at, at each point here 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 and the rest you see you only have one so you can see this is how you do your work and from here you can see how the routine came out clean and clear so this is how you do your settings beam settings so that when you now export it to autocad it will use your work you only arrange all you need to do just to do what to arrange your beam and get ready for what for printing so that is that and i would advise you to use a stone bridge template detailing very fantastic once you export to that place automatically all dimension change for you to be able to print properly so like this one now that's three wise three wise 16 at the bottom and three wise 16 at the same time at the top all you need to do just to pick one of these and then and check which other one again that is different from that one 3y16 and this one 3y20 you see this means this one and the other one that's 3y16 we are going to pick to do what to do your detailing so that is that you can see it's your work you don't discover at the end your work will come out very 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 neat i mean very very neat so that is how to do your beam settings when it comes to prota structure as i've said this is what part two put of prota structure the other ones will also be coming up subsequently thank you so much to meet next time.
so let's go back let me close this let me close this and let me also close this let me say okay um okay yes okay and also let me see let me close this let me close this so that is how to do your portal settings that's how to do your portal settings when it comes to beam so thank you very much till i see you next time